Yo, this is the time to play Pokemon Moon. We now found out where Lily is, most likely with the president of either paradise, which is Luzamin. Why? We don't know. We have to find out. But we beat Hub at least in a double battle. He gave us some keys, we opened it up, and now we're gonna go and see if we can find Lily. However, why is Team Skull here? What are they doing here? And. Guzma? What is he doing here? Why why is Team Skull in Aether Paradise? Aren't they like enemies? Well, there's like an a billion Team Skull thugs in this place. So the Foundation really was working together with Team Skull. This is like way too mind blowing to think about right now. So let's knock some skulls together for now. I actually agree with how there. Why I mean why, oh why, is Team Skull and Aether Paradise people working together? It makes no sense, right? Makes no sense whatsoever. Let's just grab here these uh, full heal. I guess we're gonna find some Team Skull guys to get to where we wanna go, so that's cool though. But, again, why are they here? What's going on? Gonna do a little change to my setup. Just gonna put Primarina in again. I think Primarina is good to be here now. I think we're gonna have some tough battles some coming. I gotta keep the boss from getting his hands dirty, so I'm gonna wreck you myself. Yeah, but why are you guys here? Why are you in either paradise? Aren't you guys like dark versus light, and now both of them are evil? Hmm. Make no sense. Team Skullgrunt wants to fight us though. The Golbat. Yeah, that's pretty much why I changed, because uh, Marowak doesn't really do well against a Poison type. Well, not a Poison type, but yeah, Golbat likes to use Crunch. That was really good for for it. Let's go with Psychic and Golbat. Golbat is mean look, which means we'll be unable to escape, but that doesn't really bother us that much. Here comes Psychic. On to Golbat. Oh, he survives! Barely. Let's do it again. Call it Poison Fang. It's very effective. Will also cause bad conf bad poison on Primarina. But we have one more Psychic in us. And that should take down the Golbat. Critical hit as well. Why didn't we get it last time? Oh well, it's fine. Let's cure that poison off at least. Should I go on level 33? And we win this one. It wasn't me who got crushed. It was my Pokemon, right? You think so too, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't really care either. Oh, Primarina. Still smiling a bit though, but... We need to cure the poison. Come on. There we go. Luckily though, if you do get badly poisoned, it doesn't become badly poisoned after battle. It turns to a normal poison. Yeah, this team skull tugged then. This is for a sponsor who supports Team Skull. So, Aether Paradise is sponsoring Team Skull. Why? I mean, remember when we met them earlier? They were like against each other, and even Fava was like supporting us against Team Skull, and now they're together. Yeah, makes no sense. Radicate versus Primarina. Good thing for us here because Dark types, they don't like Fairy types. So let's just use Disarming Voice on to Radicate. Good damage. Crunch. Do a little damage against the fairy type. Let's do it one more time. Here it comes. Disarming voice again. That will learn how to do the trick. Radicate will go down. Well played. And pre minus level 44. Wow, we're getting pretty high levels now. We're getting close to the big 50. Oh yes! Moonblast! A much better move than Desiring Voice. Desiring Voice, 40 power, but will never miss. Moonblast, though, 95 power. It's more than twice the power of power of Desiring Voice. Certainly better. Moonblast is well, such a powerful move. I remember playing X and Y when I used uh, Xerneas, the legendary fairy Pokemon. That one just destroyed every team it fought against because of Moonblast. All our strength comes from the money we've gotten. 
Yeah, I think it wasn't even sponsored by uh, Aether Paradise. That's just, that's just really, really weird. Yo, yo, yo! Pretty strong, ain't you? You go right ahead. I'm not numb school. I don't fight battles. I can't win. Finally, someone that has a brain in this team. He actually doesn't want to fight us because he knows he's going to lose. Everyone else is like, yeah, I'm a kid. You're going to get beaten. Yeah, uh, uh -huh, uh, about that. Now, I guess Guzma will be our opponent next. And you know what Guzma likes to use, right? He likes to use bug types. So, let's just get two cannon in for this one. Two cannon likes bug types. It's like a snack. Let's see what Guzma has to say about this. Yeah. <sighs> So I'm still not strong enough. All the days I struggled alone and lonely. It was all for nothing. Is that it? That'll step up. The hated boss that beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. I did a spoiled brat a favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. You know, I kind of liked you, kid. Leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger. You had some real guts. Going so far as coming over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother? That was impressive. His own mother? And now it's your turn! You little misfits keep getting up in my grill like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. It's time to put you out of your fire at the source. His mother? Hold on. Now things starting to make sense here, but let's take care of uh, Guzma first. This is going to be our third battle against Guzma now. Let's see what we can show this time. First will be Golio support. This is Samurai Pokemon. It's a dual type bug and water. So you can also use a fire move here. Uh, not fire move, but you can also use electric move here to do good damage. But here comes the Beak Blast. Power. Let's use it. Charging up our Beak. And Golio support with Sword Stance. To basically increase his uh, attack power. What won't really have him much though, because here comes the big blast from two cannon. Oh, he survives! But he has emergency exit, so he will back out actually. In comes Masquerain. Interesting. So Masquerain with Intimidate, which means the attack power of our will go down a bit, which is not that good, but we should be do fine. So Masquerain is a dual type flying and bug. So this is the Generation 3 Pokemon, but doesn't really bother us too much. Let's just do Big Blast again. Masquerade with Air Slash. A special attack flying move. Doing good damage on 2 cannon, but not too much. Here comes Big Blast. And that's a one hit KO. Even Team Day doesn't stop us. We take down the Masquerade. And 2 cannon is level 43. Getting pretty damn strong. Next up on now will be Golio support. It's gonna take him in again? Sure! We can take him on. Golio support, merge the exit. Now he's almost KO'd, so we just need to do one little hit. Let's go with Big Brick Break. Doesn't do much damage, but don't even need that much either. Take down the Golio support. That's good, that's two down, but there's still two more Pokemon to fight. Who's next? It could be Pinsir, a new Pokemon. Pinsir Generation 1, a pure bug type. You can also use a fire type here if you want to, but... Uh, mm, nah, we don't need to. Let's just stick with our beloved 2 cannon. Mole Breaker. Alright, that doesn't really concern us. Mole Breaker has no effect for us here, so let's just use Big Blast. What will Pinsir use? We use Brick Break. Doing good damage, but... Gonna cause a burn, and it comes the big blast onto Pinsir, and that's a one-hit KO. Down it go. Nice, well done, two cannon. Marowak is level 43. Now let's learn Stomping Tantrum. Hmm. Let's check out that move. It's a ground move, 75 power, and this is kind of cool. So, if the previous move has failed, the power of this move doubles. So it's a pretty good ground move, but it's not better than Bone Rank in my opinion, because you have to have a move fail first in order for this one to work. So I'm gonna skip it. 
Let's just keep all moves. I think I would rather stick with Bonomarang than Stomping Tantrum. Next up is Ariados. Ariados, the last Pokemon here. You know, let's get in Marowak here. I'd like two cannon could finish this up, but I feel Attack Cannon has a bit too low health. I'm afraid that even the big class won't be do enough here. Let's get in uh, out of Marowak against Ariados. So this is a bug poison versus ghost and fire. Let's go flame charge. Alright, this will fast to go sucker punch. Super effective. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Because flame charge on the Ariados. Good damage. Speed up as well. Will we have enough speed now to win this one? Let's try. No, Ariados does get the next strike. He will take down the Marowak. Unfortunately. We try to gamble, but Marowak taken down by the sucker punch. Unfortunately. But it's not over yet. Let's get in Primarina then. A bit of a careful thing here because Ariados is a poison type. So we can do a lot of damage to Primarina, but we do have Psychic here. Comes Shadow Sneak. Not doing much damage here. Comes Psychic. Aunt Ariados. That should be enough to take it down. And it will. Down goes Ariados. And with that, this one is over. Hey, what's up with you? How come I can't smash you? You just can't. Gusma, what's wrong with you? Tch, <laughs> looks like I got no choice. Go on, go through. Yeah, now let's find Luzamin, but... I need to do a little healing here. Let's heal up Marowak here. So let's get a Hyper Potion onto 2 Cannon as well, in my opinion. And onto Marowak 2. And let's just even heal up on Primarina. Ah, I want to get Mantons in love now for the next battle. The next, now we're coming up, now we're gonna have a bit of um, some dialogue and some talk and another big battle, so I'm actually gonna take this episode next time. So this was a bit of a short episode, but that's because the upcoming episode might be long if I do to take this dialogue in here, so I'm gonna just wait here. Please help Lily and save Cosmog. I'll be right behind you. If you want to beat you down, I got at least as strong as you. I can't believe you beat me down like that. Possibly or possibly not. Anyway, next episode, guys, we're gonna go and see if we can find Luzerman and see if we can rescue Lily and put an end to this madness once and for all. Because once we're done here, we can go to the fourth and final island on our island challenge to get more trial captains, more kahunas, more stuff to go. But I don't think this story will be ending right here next time. We'll have to wait and see. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's great for now. See you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Moon. Continue.